Hey what's up guys, welcome to the speedest comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, S23 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max to give you an idea which device is faster and better for you. In this video we are going to be doing some gaming, rendering, RAM management, app opening, game opening and stuff like that to give you an idea which device is going to be faster and better for you. Anyhow guys, let's begin the video by booting up all three devices at the same time, here we go. As you can see, the logo of all the devices appeared in here. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is coming with the latest and the greatest processor inside, whereas the Apple iPhone 16 Pro Max is also the latest one, and the S23 Ultra is a two-year-old device. So the Galaxy S25 Ultra is the first one to load up, then we have the iPhone 16 Pro Max, and at the end we have the S23 Ultra, which is taking some time to load. But before going to the video, all the devices are connected with the same Wi-Fi connection and there are no apps running in the background. So let's begin the speed up test and starting with the basic application which is the phone dialer. And as you can see, it's going to be pretty smooth on all the three devices. Now let's move towards the third party application and see which device is going to be opening faster. And starting with the Cora, here you can see the S25 Ultra is faster. Then we have the 16 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra is at the third position. But the difference in app opening is going to be minimal and the smoothness on all three devices is absolutely great. Moving on towards the next application and it's going to be Reddit. It's going to be opening faster in the iPhone 16 Pro Max than the S25 Ultra. And you know the smoothness on the S25 Ultra and the S23 Ultra is pretty amazing and the iPhone 16 Pro Max is slightly slower in terms of scrolling. Moving on towards Spotify, it's going to be faster on the S25 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Next, we have the YouTube and it's going to be opening faster in the S25 Ultra and S24 Ultra as compared to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. TikTok is going to be opening faster in both the S25 Ultra and 16 Pro Max. It's going to be smoother on all three devices. So definitely, it's going to be great. Spotify is going to be same for all the three devices. Now moving towards the first game and it's going to be Survey Surfers and it is going to be faster on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, slightly faster as compared to the S25 Ultra, then we have the S23 Ultra. The in-game performance for all the three devices is great. The difference in app opening on all three devices is going to be just minimal, so I think that the S23 Ultra is as good as the other two devices. Now moving towards the flip diving and let's see which device is faster in opening that particular game. It's going to be similar on the S25 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max, whereas the S23 Ultra is just a few milliseconds behind. The next game is going to be Real Racing and it's the first game with high demanding graphics. So let's see which device is going to be faster and better in terms of opening that particular game. As you can see, the iPhone 16 Pro Max has loaded the game first. Then we are still waiting for the S25 Ultra and S24 Ultra, which is going to be faster in loading the game. And it's going to be the S25 Ultra which loads the game faster than the S23 Ultra. So let's see in-game performance of all the three devices and which device is loading up the in-game faster. And as you can see, as you can see, the S25 Ultra is faster in loading the in-ape game. Then we have the S23 Ultra and at the end we have the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now moving towards my next game, it's going to be one of my favorite game and it's the PUBG Mobile. So let's see which device is going to be loading the game faster in all three devices. So as you can see, the loading page has been faster in the S25 Ultra, but let's see. So guys, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is faster in terms of loading the game as compared to the S25 Ultra, but it's just a few millisecond delay. Moving on, we have Netflix and let's see which device is opening up faster. As you can see, the S25 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max loaded it faster as compared to the S23 Ultra. Moving on towards Play Store and App Store and Play Store is loaded faster on both the Samsung devices and the App Store is slower. Next, we have Adobe Dash in which we are going to be doing a 4K video rendering of all three devices and see which device is going to be faster in rendering department. And we are going to be applying some effects on that particular 4K video clip and we are going to see which device is going to be faster in terms of the export. As you can see, the export is going to be blazing fast on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, then the S25 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. So definitely, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is going to be better in terms of the rendering performance. Now let's move towards the last application and it's going to be the browsing test for all the three devices. And the first website is going to be the phone arena. And as you can see, it's going to be loading faster on the S25 Ultra than the 
iPhone 16 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra is just a few milliseconds behind. And you guys, all the three devices are excellent. So let's find out the RAM management of all the three devices. The 12 gigabyte of RAM option is coming for the S25 Ultra and it's going to be looking great. As you can see, it has not refreshed any of the application yet and all the applications are opening up faster. Instagram, Snapchat, and the gaming are still there in the device and it's going to be absolutely great in terms of the RAM management. Netflix is the first application that has been rebooted. Other than that, all the applications are in the device. So overall, the performance of the Galaxy S25 Ultra RAM management is absolutely great. Next, we have the S23 Ultra. So let's find out the RAM management of that particular machine. As you can see, the app opening is going to be slightly few milliseconds slower, but it still has all those applications in there. So there is not going to be any major refresh for that particular device. The real racing is also available in there. The PUBG Mobile is the first game that has been refreshed on the S23 Ultra. Netflix has also been refreshed and Play Store is there. Adobe Rush is it there. And then we have the browser available in there. So overall, the performance of the S23 Ultra is also great in terms of the RAM management. So not a difference in here. Now let's move towards the iPhone 16 Pro Max. It's a device which is coming with 8GB of RAM option in there. As you can see, the RAM management is going to be absolutely great on that particular machine. Instagram is the first application that has been reloaded. Other than that, all the applications are still running inside the device. Even the PUBG Mobile is there. And definitely we can see that the iPhone 16 Pro Max, it's going to be better in terms of the RAM management despite having 8GB of RAM option. And you guys, at the end, I would say that the S25 Ultra and the 16 Pro Max are one of the best of the best devices. Both are going to be excellent. Both have better RAM management. But if you look at towards the S23 Ultra, it's still going to be a great device. Yes, it's going to be slower in some application, but the slowness is just going to be a few milliseconds. If you want the S23 Ultra, I don't recommend that you should focus on towards the S25 Ultra because definitely it's going to be a worth of device and it's going to still one year more so definitely it's going to be pretty great device and you guys i have already made the battery drain test for all the devices and also made some other speed test comparisons so do check them out as well thanks for watching be sure to subscribe peace